previous round. I thought he was lucky. Got a bronze of the European Championships. Lost to Cheevan Clark, who I've just mentioned. Boxing the Bundesliga Corbin. Quarter finalist of the 2015 World Championships where he lost to Tischenko. So cross fertilization between the two halves of this draw. He's a lifeguard, Roy Corbin. Susan on fifth of the Asian Championships, lost to Levitt before the final, so no shame in that. To Jeffrey Gonzalez and then Yamal Peralta. So that was a good scout for him, Peralta, in the first couple of rounds. It's good to watch Tursunov. He's busy for a heavyweight. He launches in from distance. He bounces on the balls of his feet, particularly in that southpaw stance. Drops his hands down by his side and is just bouncing with real intent and then just launches himself towards the target. It looks like he really enjoys it in there too. He was the one who's back who didn't win a gold medal at the Asian Championships in Tashkent because Vasily Levitt did. So final fight of the session, just 18 years old. A lot of young fighters in this World Championship. The average age of this World Championship will be significantly lower than the last one because we're at the start of an Olympic cycle. Fighters have possibly moved on or retired and the younger fighters come through and get their chance. And Tuzanov just looks like a young man who loves to fight. Big height difference between the two of them. in red, Sanjo Tursunov of Uzbekistan in blue, he started off orthodox here, Tursunov, calling it a south ball. that mouthpiece you know he does it every now and again he just half pushes it out of his mouth Tuzanov gets into that kind of range. He needs not to be in there with him. Well, 
that's what the referee's telling you about there, is to keep your dumb shield, your mouthpiece, properly in your mouth, rather than push it just out beyond his teeth, which is what he's doing there. He's not the only one who does that. You see fighters do it. Sometimes you see them do it when they're tired. It somehow makes it feel like they're getting a bit more air in, I think. That won't be the case here, because we're in the first round. It's just a habit he's picked up, and he's going to need to stop doing it. with a long left hand. He's not engaged as much in this opening round, Tuzanov. As he thought he might. Bell goes at the end of the round. A little bit of a late one there for Tuzanov, but he wasn't damaging. Yeah. Yeah. Well rehearsed routine this for the Uzbek corner. Get that ice pack on, whip that water on him and then get to it with that towel. It is pretty humid in here. in the red. Sanjil Tuzanov was Pakistan in the blue. Looking for the jab there, Corvin. Tuzanov just holding out that left hand, just trying to measure it to the right. Different kind of performance than we saw for him from him in his previous fight. It's a little bit wild then at times. Close enough, that is. Attack on the inside was more effective. Get wild with the right hand, and then with the gloves down, he catches the jab there from Corvin. He's got heavier hands of the two. As we saw in that fight between Mantramov and Isley, it doesn't necessarily translate to a win if the opponent hits you more often, even if it's not solid. Chest. That was a, a good punch there from Tursunov. Corvinch is not really throwing enough, I don't think, to be able to, to win this fight at this stage. Stepping with that front foot there, Corvinch is stamping with it, seeing if he can draw something from Tursunov. You know, was a little bit open there as he looked to throw the right. He might really let his hands go there on the inside to us and off he threw a couple and then just stepped off for no particular reason. It's the last 10 seconds of the second round. And so one to go. Look at the 
en creëert ruimte om te stoten. Je moet zo snel mogelijk naar het midden van de ring op hele afstand de sneeuw. I want to go to the body, I think. That's what they're talking about there. Third and final round. Heavyweight division, Roy Corvinger of the Netherlands in red, Sanjar Tursunov of Uzbekistan in the blue. Tursunov has been more proactive in this fight, he's slow more. Corvinger's never looked in particular trouble or massively uncomfortable, but at the same time, he's not really thrown enough left hand there. Got through from Tursunov. It's been a much more measured display from Tursunov. He was quite hyper actually in his previous fight. There's Jamal Peralta. He really wanted to try and put on a show. He switched a lot. It looks okay to me, but the referee's saying it was inside of the glove. Is heavy in the corner, telling him to step on his man there. And I can understand why they might say that because in the fight he has had chances at times when he's landed a good shot, a couple of good shots to to follow up, and he hasn't really done it. He was too eager a couple of days ago, so it's interesting the change in his performance between then and now. He's maybe been told by the coaches that he can't afford to be quite that reckless at this level and. As a result, has maybe become slightly too circumspect because Corvin doesn't pose any great threat to him, to be honest, in terms of what he's throwing. Right hand to the chest there from Tursunov, and they're still just waving him in there, the US back corner. It still looks pretty fresh. Even two, though, he's still. got enough in the tank but in the last 30 seconds of the fight he's not been all that ambitious here the man in red to be honest he's not really fought like a fighter he he's really felt he can win this fight i said that about somebody earlier on and they got the win so you can never be totally sure into the last few seconds goes. Corbin with just a, a wave of the fist there and they seem happy with the performance. But it was Turzanov who made all of the running in that fight and who landed the meteor blows. He landed more blows. Could have done a bit more, maybe. The fighter from Uzbekistan. Ladies and gentlemen, will be the winner by split decision in the blue corner. Tursunov gets it by split decision. Australia going 30 points to 27 for Roy Corving there. I, I find that absolutely incredible. The other four judges going 30 points to 27 in favour of Tursunov, which was how I had it. So that concludes the afternoon session. Good session. Ten fights, two at Lightfly, 
two at Bantam, two at Light Welter, two at Middle and two at Heavyweight. We saw some really good performances, some interesting results as well. Eubigen Martinez went through against Ganki Yag of Mongolia. Martinez boxing for Colombia as we just have a little look at the 